Hello and welcome. My name is Millen and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a dynamic bar chart in Power BI. More specifically I'm going to show you how to get the colors to change dynamically to give you an additional source of visual information. So without further ado, let's get into it. So what we're going to do is create a bar chart that shows yesterday's total sales and give the bars a color based on whether the difference from the previous day was positive or negative. What we can also do is go one step further and give it these three conditions. If the difference from the previous day was negative, then we'll color it in red. If the difference from the previous day was positive but less than 10%, then we will color it in amber. And if the difference from the previous day's sales is positive and above 10%, then we will color it in green. The first thing we need to do is create our measure to calculate yesterday's sales. So let's create a new measure and we can call it sales yesterday. And what we want to do is do a calculate we want to sum the sales amount and now we want to add in our filter context. So what we want to do is have filter. We want to filter our date table and the expression is going to be yesterday's date. So we're the date table date is equal to yesterday's date. And to get that, we're going to simply do today minus one. And there we are. Our yesterday's sales is now complete. And what we can do is format that. And that's it. Our next step is to calculate the previous day's sales, as we will want to use this in our final expression. So we can create a, we can get a copy of this. Let's create a new measure. And we can say sales for day equals, we can copy our measure in. The only difference with this being instead of today minus one, we can have today minus two. So it's not yesterday's sales, it's the day before's. Okay, now that we have our two base measures, the thing we need now is to have a measure that calculates the percentage difference from the previous day and returns a color based on our initial three rules. Okay, so what we want to do now is create a new measure that returns our color. So the measure needs to calculate the percentage difference and then based on that, we want to return a color. So let's call this color. We want to have a variable to begin with, which will return our percentage different from yesterday. So variable percent change equals, and this is where we want to put in our formula. For this, we can use the divide function. Our numerator is simply going to be the difference between the sales yesterday minus the sales of the previous day. And the numerator is going to be the sales of the previous day. This is how we will get our percentage. The next thing we want to do, we don't want to return the percentage, we want to return the color based on this percentage. So we want to return. And this is where we can use a switch statement with true. Now, if this number is less than zero, so what we want to say is the percent change less than zero, then we want to return our color. Now I already have some colors that I want to use. So if it's less than zero, we want to use red and we're simply going to put it in 
false, and that is our hex color to be returned. Next, if the percent change is greater than or equal to zero, and the percent change is less than 0 0.1, as that will be 10%, then the next color we want to return is yellow. And finally, if the percent change is greater or equal to 0 0.1, then we want to return the color green, which in our case is this hex code right here. We can close that, and that is our expression done. So this is everything we need to create this bar chart. Now all we need to do is actually create it. So let's create a new visual. On this bar chart, we want our y-axis to be yesterday's sales. On our x-axis, let's put in our product name. So this is yesterday's sales by product name. And what we want to do is go to the formatting. Over here, as you can see, we want to go to columns and we want to go to the FX, the conditional formatting. So if we click on that, we want our format cell to be based on a field value, and the field value is color, our color measure. And there we are. Now, how do we know if this is correct? Because our tooltip simply says what the sales were for yesterday, as you can see. Well, what we can do is bring in our previous day's sales, which is why we created this additional measure. So if you go back to the format pane, we can drag this into the tooltip. What I forgot to do, by the way, is also format this, just to make it look a bit cleaner. We can also give these two decimal places. Power BI doesn't always do that, even though it is for a currency, but it's usually worth just putting in manually to make things a little bit clearer. So now that we have that, let's go back here. So we can see for this particular product, we have a green bar and our sales far exceed a 10% increase from the previous day. Let's look at Amber. Well, we have the sales being the same for yesterday and the previous day. And this fits in with our rule. If the sale is, no, if the sale has no change from the previous day or is less than 10%, then it is Amber, which is what we have. And if you go to a red bar, then you can see that there is a negative change in sales from the previous day. So you can see very quickly that our conditional formatting works. So if you learned something from this video, please leave a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already.